Deep under the ground, in places we hardly ever see, there are incredible ants doing amazing things. These ants work really hard to make sure their family stays healthy and strong. They have a special job for some of their group, making these ants into living storage units. These special ants swell up and carry around a sweet liquid that's really important for the whole family, especially when food is scarce. Imagine these ants like shiny, big beads that are ready to give out their sweet juice to any ant that needs it. This sweet stuff is collected from exciting trips they take at night. On these trips, they gather nectar and small bits of insects to bring back home. Then they mix all these goodies into a sweet, powerful mix that helps keep their ant family going. Below the earth, away from our eyes, live some truly fascinating ants engaged in activities that might remind us of magic. These hard-working creatures spend their days ensuring their community thrives. They have an interesting system where they turn some of their own into walking food storages. These ants become filled with a sweet fluid, becoming crucial to their colony's health, especially in hard times. These walking pantries look like big, shiny beads filled with food, ready to share with any ant in need. The process to fill them up is quite the adventure. They venture out at night, looking for sweet nectar and pieces of bugs. They bring these back and turn them into a sweet, energizing mix that keeps their ant family strong and happy. These adventures and the creation of their living pantries ensure the survival of their colony through tough and good times. It's a fascinating world under our feet where these ants work together in remarkable ways to support each other. In their tiny, bustling world, every single ant has a job that matters a ton. There are the big, stuffed storage ants, the busy workers, and the queen ant, who's basically the heart of the show, popping out eggs like it's her job, because it is. Together, they're like a big, living castle, hanging out in tough places like deserts that stretch all over, from places like the Southwest and Mexico to far off lands like Australia and Africa. It's a big thumbs up for working together to beat the odds. But these ants aren't just getting by. They're like tiny masters of the desert, helping flowers grow and keeping other bug numbers just right. Sometimes they even end up as a snack for folks who know where to find them, showing off the cool and tasty surprises hiding in nature. The story of these honeypot ants is pretty much a big cheer for how smart and tough nature is. It tells us all about sticking together, planning ahead, and living in a way that's cool with everything around us. Scientists even look at these ants and get ideas on how to keep food better and use what we have smarter. They're all wowed by how these little critters get things done. As the day turns into night, there's an awesome story going down deep in the dirt, under a sky full of stars. In this secret world, tiny but super complex critters are doing their thing, all playing their parts in a story about making it through the tough stuff. Right in the middle of it all is the queen, the big boss of the ant world, focusing on one super important thing. She's surrounded by her kids, setting up what's coming next for them, her big deal, laying loads of tiny white eggs that are all about hope and her tough spirit. These eggs are the future, and everyone treats them like treasure. Her daughters, the worker ants, are all about keeping these eggs safe, helping them grow up from wriggly little babies into ants wrapped up in cozy cocoons. It's all about keeping the cycle going, making sure their ant family stays strong. In this whole setup, some ants get picked for a really special job. They're chosen to be the big, strong storage units, ready to hold on to the colony's emergency snacks. Turning into one of these repletes is a big deal. It's about giving it your all for the gang, showing just how clever and ready to last they are in their rough home. At night, when the world is quiet and dark, ant workers embark on risky adventures. They bravely step into the night, hunting for food in the vast desert. They're on a quest for precious finds, dead bugs packed with proteins and fats, and the rare sweet drops of nectar from desert flowers. It's like searching for hidden treasures in a world of sand and stars. Sometimes, they stumble upon bright red, sweet liquid left by curious humans. This special drink, carried back home in tiny amounts is a magic elixir for their friends back in the colony. About one in five ants gets chosen for a super important job. They become the colony's living pantries, storing the precious nectar, but they don't use it up. They keep it safe inside a special part of their belly, ready to share when needed. It's a bit like having a secret room inside them that keeps getting bigger and bigger, filled with life-saving food. As they fill up with nectar, these ants transform 
Their bodies stretch, and their hard shell parts slide apart to make room. They look like tiny islands floating on a big bloated sea. To avoid getting sick with mold, they hang in the air, letting the breeze flow around them. In this secret, nightly world, each tiny creature plays a vital role, following the unspoken laws of survival. The queen ant is like the heart of it all, a powerful leader, endlessly laying eggs that promise the future. She's the core of the colony, with all her children working together, guarding and caring for the next generation of ants. They watch over the eggs, helping them grow from wriggly little babies into young ants, wrapped up in cozy cocoons. In this intricate dance of life, some ants are chosen for a special destiny. They're the big ones, the ones who will become more than just regular ants. They're turned into living storage containers, a testament to the colony's strength and cleverness. Their journey from tiny ant to vital resource is a tale of commitment and survival, a brilliant strategy to beat the challenges of their world. So, picture this. Every night, a bunch of tiny, hard-working ants head out into the big, scary darkness. They're on a mission to find food, rummaging around for goodies like dead bugs jam-packed with all the good stuff, proteins, and fats. And if they're lucky, they'll find some of the desert's rare treats, like sweet, sweet nectar from flowers, which is pretty much a desert miracle because it's so rare to find anything wet in such a dry place. Sometimes, these little adventurers stumble upon something extra special, Red, sugary water left out by people who are fascinated by these tiny creatures. This sugary water is super important because it's taken back home in teeny, precious drops and plays a big role in turning some of their ant buddies into super ants. Now let's talk about these super ants. They're a select group, making up about 20% of their family, and they get all the attention. They're fed drop by drop with this special nectar, which goes into a special part of their bellies designed just for storing, not digesting. This part, called the crop, gets filled up and starts to stretch, turning these ants into walking, talking, well, not really talking, storage tanks full of food. Imagine one of these ants, okay? It keeps eating and eating, and its belly starts to get bigger, kind of like how we feel when we've eaten way too much during a holiday feast. There's this super stretchy skin that lets the ant's belly expand without any trouble. It, it's as if the ant has this invisible, stretchy suit that grows right along with its belly. Ants usually wear a sort of armor, like tiny insect knights, made up of hard bits called sclerites. But when their bellies grow huge, this armor spreads out, looking like tiny islands drifting apart on a big round ocean. That ocean, it's the ant's massively swollen belly. What's your take on this heated topic? Hit like, comment, subscribe for more.